guys, it's Holly here for PlayStation Access and yes, I have once again caught up with the game world. You guys know how much I love The Witcher. We're talking Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Now, we've seen a gorgeous live gameplay demo. Uh, let's start with Novigrad. Tell us a little about that city because that is enormous compared to anything The Witcher has ever done before. Yeah, comparing to Flotsam, for example, yeah, that's that's a totally different scale. Novigrad has been has been inspired by a medieval Amsterdam, so like a porting city, but now it's like a very very vivid thing to do. Like uh, you can uh, go there and like uh, meet some fancy people, or or also some thieves and will pickpocket you on a, over the corner. So you can you have to be careful then. Some cunning, uh, some cunning NPCs that are sometimes even more dangerous than the monsters in the world. So. so it's got four different districts, so those kind of very four distinct things, you just like wander to wherever you want to go? Oh, definitely, yeah. So it's not like, uh, you know, you're blocked in one district and you need to uncover it later on. No, it's everything is open, it's an open world RPG, and we, we keep to that idea. And full day, night, weather cycles with the NPCs being affected by all of that? Definitely, yes. The world is alive, so uh, whenever there will be a rain, some people will, you know, just crouch under the under the roof and and wait for you to to engage them. Now the world itself is massive. Uh, we sort of said if you were on the horse, like full gallop, 15 minutes end to end, it is yeah, enormous. More maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> so how do we move around? How do you get there? Because walking, I and mean, we know we can do it on horse, but still, it's a long time to get around. You can do it on the horse, but you probably will stumble across a sea after all. So you have to switch to the boat, or you can do uh, you know swimming. Uh, but after the, <laughs> uh, after sailing, you can go off the, bo off the boat. You can swim downwards, so beneath the surface of the of the water, and you can encounter a monster even there. You can find some treasures there. You can find some quests there even uh, in the water. So really, really um, big thing. Uh, the exploration itself is like riding a horseback, uh, jumping, running, um, sailing a boat and climbing ledges even so you just said the key word jumping Geralt can yeah, jump now yeah eventually eventually so he can jump and after a high jump he, he will even a roll amazing <laughs> uh, the witcher sense also seems to get a bit of an upgrade obviously we've seen it before following blood trails but now we were able to point out bits that we could kind of climb and for like special objects as well yes you can also like hear uh, special monsters so you can locate them then uh, recognize them and then prepare for the fight beforehand so when we were off to go see the croons, the, uh, the old woman in the uh, demo, uh, massive monster ran past and we were like, oh, that's a hunt, we'll save that for later. Uh, what, uh, what's the hunt? Ah, what's the hunt? The wild hunt has been mentioned in the books many times. Yeah, like, I love the books. Yeah. Those are the spectral beings that hunt uh, the, the whole country. And those are, will be one of the main adversaries in the Witcher 3 wild hunt. So have we got uh, any updates to the combat system? Because it was a beautiful evolution from the original Witcher due to the Witcher 2. Still very tough uh, at the beginning, but uh, we did yeah. see some evolutions. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will see a lot of changes uh, because the combat system has been revamped uh, during from the Witcher 2. And now it's more fluid, uh, more reactive. So now just one push of a button um, pro produces one animation. So. You can change your mind uh, during the animation, during the combat, like break the combo, switch to a different enemy, art this one and attack this one with a light attack, do this uh, hard attack on the other one. So it's a much more reactive style, much more fluid. And we also triple the amount of animation that the Geralt uses during the combat. So it feels uh, really, really vivid, really, really fluent, and it plays out really well. Dismemberment. Oh, my favorite, my favorite. Because I'm I'm responsible for the character artists. So we do monsters, we do we do characters, and we also do the customization of the dismemberment system. We also see new weapons, a crossbow. That changed a lot of the, like how we were dealing with the harpies, because now we can go after them at that long range. Have we got any other weapons that might be coming for the first time? Uh, well, definitely there are uh, old weapons that are still apparent here. So you have the traps, you have the bombs, now you have the, the crossbow, and you also have the alternative signs. So um, each of the five uh, Witcher signs cannot be uh, can now be used in an alternative mode. So uh, to give you an example, you can art uh, as usual as a force push, but you can also uh, do an area of effect. Like the Witcher goes downwards and the wave, you know, spreads around. So it's really really cool when you're uh, you know facing a swarm of enemies. 
That sounds absolutely incredible. Uh, now, the one last thing I want to, because I have read the books and I absolutely love them, and there's three particular women in Geralt's life that it'd be good to kind of know what's happening. It is, of course, the wonderful Triss, Ciri, and Yennefer. Uh, will any of these three women be playing a part? I'm imagining the Ashen Head girl. Every woman will play a big part in The Witcher, <laughs> <laughs> especially not not only those, but but many others. But yeah, those three will be apparent in the game and will play a massive role in the story. I'm a massive fan of Triss, personally. But there, thank you so much for your time. Thank uh, you. I'm incredibly excited to play The Witcher and to welcome The Witcher on PlayStation as well, which is even better. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You can stay tuned to the YouTube channel because there's just there's loads more coming up from PlayStation.